Scrapbookers, it's Katie Scott, and I have been like down the rabbit hole of family history again. And so sometimes I do that, and not much happens, and it's kind of boring. And then other times I do it, like um, now, and <laughs> then I'm like, oh my gosh, there's like a million stories to tell. So I'm gonna show you um, some of the things I just picked up at Whimsa Doodle. So we're just gonna do a quick little haul video, um, and then I'm gonna go straight into scrapbooking this picture that I never saw before and I found it on um, a Facebook group that is from my hometown and so this is my grandfather and I want to um, put that on the scrapbook page because here's the deal you can start the family history um, research and then you can get involved in Facebook groups and Ancestry and all this other stuff. And it's that's great. And it's great to be on the computer. But if you are a scrapbooker like I am, what you um, want to accomplish is making scrapbook pages. So <laughs> I want to get it down. Also because, you know, while the internet seems like it's, you know, it's a great... I think you should be both in paper and on the internet because... Um, the stuff that you find on the internet is, is searchable by everyone, but then, um, you know, there's so much on the internet that sometimes what you find can get lost. So it's nice to have it in your own book. So these are some of the things that I pulled from my stash. These are some October afternoon letters that kind of looked retro to me. And this is um, a 1960s photo of an office. I found this just little strip um, that was office-y. <laughs> And then I found some stickers. Um, these are basic gray and they have um, kind of a retro feel to them. I found this October afternoon, a snapshot keeps a moment from running away. Quote, I like that. Um, I just found some banners, some, some different um, pattern papers. I found this uh, phone thing and there's pictures of phones. I found typewriter icons, another typewriter icon here, um, and then some ledger paper. So I'm just pulling things that like kind of have an office feel to them. There's a typewriter here. And then as I'm pulling these things, I'm quickly realizing I'm pulling way too much. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. Okay, here's another typewriter. This is the Cartabella line. Um, and and then just another ledger. So that's what I already have, like that's in my stash. This is what I could make a page with. I could just take that and go no further and start my page, but I sort of want to show you what I just got. <laughs> you know, and also show you, I also brought home this envelope full of um, printouts and newspaper articles. Um, from the internet all about my grandfather and his office. So there's a whole heap of information there. Um, so I've printed that out and some of this might go onto the page, some of it might go into the back. Um, and I do that quite a bit. So um, that way I can just tuck this into the page protector and all of the information that I found on the internet is gonna be there and it's all, you know, shows the links and everything. And then I found some more photos and actually a letter from my grandmother, my grandfather's, you know, my grandma. Anyways, I found a letter, I found some more photos. So you can see it's really easy to um, get, when you're doing family history scrapbooking, you can go like in all sorts of directions really fast. Okay, before we go in all sorts of directions really fast, let's just look at what I got at Whimsa Doodle um, recently. So I got this capture and everything was 50% off and I love that. So I got this, um, you can see that pretty well. Um, this is Capture by Basic Gray and this was $2. So it was $4 marked down to two. They're having a big sale. And the, uh, the reason I think this might work with this page that I'm making is it says stuff like Capture the Memories, um, and it just looks kind of retro to me. So that's a possibility. So I'm gonna just put this on my messy desk, but I'm gonna put this um, near uh, that photo. And so that'll go into my stack of things that, this is another one. Um, this is from Fancy Pants. It's a label sticker and it's called Collections Moments. And so, 
Anyways, it's got some time, you know, it's got some clocks, stuff like that, remembering just in time, and today, that was 50 cents. I'm going to keep that in my little stack there. The next um, thing is the Glitz Paper Pack. This is the Finlay Collection, and I love these colors, and they do kind of read a little 60s to me, except um, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to go, I don't know, we'll see. If I, sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. That's what that one says. I'm not sure if that will go into this page or not, but this was $3, marked down from six. Woohoo! I got um, this Amy Tangerine, um, eight pages of stickers, and oh, this is cute. I might even use, so when I use a million things. Um, and that's where you've got to kind of rein it in. <laughs> but hashtag right now, that would be cute because right now I just, I've, I've been all into this um, ancestry stuff. And so there are some, like, I think this could work. There's some retro feeling um, stickers in here. So I don't know if I will use this or not, but it's possible. So I'm just going to put that over here in prob the probably not p pile. The next thing is Happy Camper Letter Stickers. Um, this is by Echo Park. And I got that for $1.50. <laughs> um, yeah. This is uh, KI Memories. This is called Flashback. I like this font, actually. That could maybe work with my page. So I'm going to put that over here near the maybe going to use it. Okay, here we go with, this was so cool. Um, this is DIY specialty paper, and I got this for a dollar. This is washi tape paper, and so the whole thing is washi tape, I believe. And so let's just, and it has a strip of typewriters, which I'm kind of digging for this page. Although, as you've seen, I have a lot of typewriters already, so... I think that I am probably putting too many choices on my plate, but, oh wow. Okay, I have not seen this before. This is washi tape that's like the whole, um, it's not separated, so you could cut it so that you'd have these washi paper strips, or what might be interesting is if you ripped it this way, then you'd have like the washi of all of them. Interesting. I'm not sure I'm going to play with this on this page. I think it would work. Um, it definitely has a retro feel to it, but and it has the typewriter icon, so I'm going to put in the probably not pile. Um, this is that same stuff, and this was all, this is from the pier. I think that's crepe paper or studio calico, and this is also a whole, sh the, this whole sheet is washi. It's like 12 by 12 washi. Okay, next up is Simple Stories, A Charmed Life. I like that. Blue, green, and yellow. I don't think it's going to work for this page. I could um, use that. looks a little retro, but I'm not going to use that. Um, this is from that same line. Really cool. And as is this. Ta-da. Oh, there we go with the typewriter again. There's a lot of typewriters. Um, I picked, um, but I don't think I'm going to use that. I have enough typewriters over this way, so. I picked this um, paper because it's my mind's eye and it's happy haunting, so it's a Halloween line. But I didn't um, really pick it for this side. I picked it for this side because this looks like the old photos, and I have a lot of um, family history photos, and this is what they're kind of, like the containers for the photos look like that. Uh, I get this October afternoon paper that I really love and I I've been doing my family history research again so what I want to research what I want to um write about is that that like the land bridge you know when like all the continents were one and then they all started splitting up and I want to do those DNA tests and <laughs> talk about that land bridge um I don't think we took the land bridge but Anyways, I just think it's been interesting, and that was an interesting perspective as far as the map goes. Uh, here's some old photos, or old camera icons. That would really work too, I'm, I, but I'm, like I said, I think I'm getting 
too many already, so we're just going to keep putting these over here in the probably not going to use it pile. Um, there's a basic gray, another basic gray. Oh, I like this though for this page. Oh, I like that side too. Huh. Um, yeah, probably not going to use it. I do like it a lot. <laughs> Here's another sheet from, this is We Are Memory Keepers, Simple Story. So they had a big sale, and I went down and I, like, looked at everything. I put a bunch of things in my cart, and then I took a bunch of things out. So I ended up spending only $20 for all of the things that I'm showing you now. Another map, another ledger sheet. Never have enough ledgers. Um, I liked this line. It's called... Inked Rose by We Are Memory Keepers. And I just thought it's got that brush script, which is real popular right now. And I like I just liked all those bright colors. That's from the same inked rose. And it's also got the watercolor, which is very trendy right now. And this is L Studio. I like this a lot. It's just little notes that you could cut up or a diagonal on the other side. And another from L Studio with polka dots, and that's cute. Um, so those are the papers I got. I always say, I'm never going to buy any more papers. <laughs> and then I go see all the cute papers. And then I hear that they're not going to be making as many papers in the future as they have in the past. And I think, okay, why not? <laughs> Especially if they're half off, which they were. So I'm going to put these aside and then we'll get started on our page. So the way that I make um, these videos and the scrapbook pages in my videos is that I just start, <laughs> so I don't have a plan, and I'm actually seeing some things over here in my scrap bin, and I'm throwing them in. Uh, I know you can't see that, I'm sorry. Um, that's bad air time, huh? But um, just, I have this bin of scrap pieces of paper, and uh, I just think there's a lot of different possibilities for the way that this page could look. So. Okay, <laughs> but at a certain point, you have to say, I'm going to stop researching, I'm going to stop looking through all my supplies, and I'm going to get started. So now we're at that stage. So this is what I'm going to be working with. This little pile of stuff here. I have a, another pile of stuff right here. Um, there's some papers in there. So I'll dig into those if I need to. I don't know. <laughs> I hope I don't need to. I might need to though. We'll see. Okay, so let's start with um, the photo. And I print these out. I, print, I So somebody posted this on Facebook and um, then I printed this. I copied and pa I copied it onto my computer and I printed it out and the quality is pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, and I just printed it out on cardstock, so I can journal right onto this if I wanted to. Um, I can, so what I can use this white space for is journaling, or I can um, trim this so it's just a long skinny photo, and I might do that. I'm not sure. Um, let me just think a little here. So first what I want to do probably is pick my background paper. So it could be something like that, although that looks like way too feminine. I like that better, except that I wouldn't want to um, not use that side of the paper. <laughs> so that's a no. Okay. Then um, same deal with this. I don't think I'm probably going to use that Cartabella paper, even though I really like it. Same deal with this Amy Tan paper. I don't think that I would want to use that on this page. How about the Aqua? That feels kind of 60s to me. Like it's got that, and it's got kind of a retro vibe to it. So I like that. Let's keep this on the table and see what we think about that. Now I wanted to use those, hold on just a second. I wanted to use these Maybe this. <laughs> I wanted to use a million things, right? <laughs> but I thought I would like to use these letters. 
And so if I use these letters, they're going to show up just fine on the white, I think. Um, but would they show up fine on if I didn't if I trimmed that out and I'm gonna need at least three E's and I do have a lot of E's here this E looks like very similar to the that so I don't think that would work but these would I've got enough F's so that's gonna yeah I think maybe that could work so then my next, so I think what I would like to do is trim the top and then put the title kind of um, above it on the background, maybe. <laughs> I'm still kind of deciding. And then write the story down here. I'm not really sure. Let's just see. Hmm. Okay, let's start with, so what do we do when we don't know where to start? The other option would be to just write it directly on the back, but um, or on the background, but I think with a darker color, it's harder to read. So I could also do it on this lighter thing, um, ledger paper, although this paper is not, oh, it's thick enough. It's not super thick. Um, this could work. It feels like, and I don't have any of the colors in this um, picture, but it feels to me like this is more 60s than, than the cream. Like the aqua would be more 60s than. And I'm really feeling like now I want to look in my pile and explore a little more, which I just said I was not going to do. But it's really hard not to, I don't know, it's hard not to. Okay, let's look a little bit more. Another option I could have is to put it on like a background paper with a graphic like these cameras because I found this picture that I didn't know existed. I like, I actually like that on this side. Now, I don't <laughs> have that issue with I want to use this side, but I do like the way that red looks. It kind of makes the picture pop a little bit. Um, so maybe I'll look for, I don't want to use pink. My, my grandfather was not really a pink dude. He was a more serious, not super serious, but he wasn't, um, I don't think he would have enjoyed the pink. I really did like that red and white, that red and kind of cream look though. So I know I said I wasn't going to go over into this um, other pile, but now I am. So there. Sorry. I do really, I did really like that red, and so maybe I just, I just found this scrap. So maybe that would be like. Um, Kind of behind the people so it draws your attention to the people um, and then let's just see if that then works with this teal so yeah my desk has gotten super messy and I'm actually you're gonna laugh um, but I'm <laughs> maybe I don't know maybe you are maybe you're not but I'm kind of considering moving my scrapbook room to where it used to be um, okay so I sort of like this arrangement, but I think that what I want to do is, like, I like the red, and I like the polka dots, and I like the ledger paper. What I'm thinking I want to do is trim the top and then use the bottom for some journaling, or just totally trim it. Let's just, but then I do have a lot to say, which I could say over on this side. I think that's maybe what I'll do is I'm going to trim it. So here we go. So I have a guillotine type from the office supply store and I'm just trimming off the white just so that I have just a little border around my picture. And I'm kind of thinking that's going to make it um, stand out a little bit like the picture will stand out a little more and I have like a blemish on the top of the paper so I'm gonna cover that up with this this cross paper here we 
go. So it's going to go something like that. This is what Debbie Hodge would call a cross <laughs> design. I think she would call it that. Okay, so my next thought is, can I fit this um, snapshot quote in? And I'm going to just cut that. That's taking up a lot of space on my page, which is giving me the creeps. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't know. But I kind of like it. Because it really, like, it really did. And it kind of matches with the tone of that. Um... Hmm. But I don't really think that I want my um I kind of wanted to have like a bigger deal of the title. And I'm not sure I'm gonna do the title in this font on this page. I wonder and this is a copy, so it's okay if I um, go right over, but if I'm gonna put anything down on this cardstock, it like any stickers, it's going to stick like real, it will not come up. Um, so I'd better be sure. And so, what I'm thinking is that I might put the title right over this picture, right like this. I almost don't want to though because. I really love the picture. But also we have all this space right here. Let's look at these again. And I can, you know, I can change my font or my letter stickers. But I really like this letter sticker. It's just, it's a little bit hard to get off the page. But that's, it does look so retro and cool. Um, but I don't know if it's going to work because I don't, in this space, if I set up the page like this, blah. <laughs> Let's try this again. Let's try the, the other F that's going to be more contrasting with the background because we want the title to stand out, so you don't want to have to wonder about it. Because I've got to spell the word Fenderson. It's nine letters. I think it's nine letters. Um, and I don't think I have enough space to do that. One way that I could kind of beef up my space is if I... Well, maybe I should just do this. <laughs> I don't really like it. Well, I thought I wouldn't like it. It's not as bad as I thought. It isn't as bad as I thought, actually. We did this and then cut this so we could kind of still get that um, or okay, so we could do it like this, right? <laughs> and then maybe just put a little something up here and then hmm I got a lot I got a lot that I would like to get on the page and I don't feel like I have I feel like I need to give up that do we like that? I don't know <laughs> the other thing I don't like about my new space <laughs> Now that I'm complaining about things, which is not what I advise. Don't, don't. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Um, this would be the other. Oh, I kind of like that too. So, uh, what I recommend when you're scrapbooking is that you don't do what I'm doing right now. So I'm getting all boggled down in the choices, 
And it's not, like, it's really not that earth shattering. Like, you don't have to stress all these little choices. But we still do anyways. I still do anyways. Right? <laughs> it's true. I do. It happens. Um, but it's, right, let's, this looks very 60s, doesn't it? My problem is I don't like that. I like the idea of aqua, but I, but I like it in this gray rather than this grungy um, look. And ugh. <laughs> this is what I like. Okay, now don't stress out about what paper you're gonna use. And then what do I do? I stress out about what paper I'm gonna use. Yeah, it happens. Okay, so let's. Um, I am going to my stash of stuff over here. I'm not going to be long though. I am just going to pick, I think I have a very light grid paper over here that I think will work. Okay. So this is a Studio Calico paper and it's snippets. And then here is kind of a grid looking paper. I don't think this is doing what I want it to do. It doesn't really, no. <laughs> okay, so part of the point of my videos is to show you like how you can get all cut up and get stuck and then how you can keep moving. So let's try one more time to find something else. And if I don't find something else, like, very, very quickly, then I am going to, uh, <laughs> then I'm just going to use what I started with over there, which I really don't want to do. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. This is no good. Okay, I got one more. This one is called, I kind of like this because it's like, um, they lived in Calais, which is on the border of Canada, and um, there's kind of a map going on there that's kind of interesting. Does it help my picture? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think what um, the best solution is going to be keep it simple. Let's go back to this one. Are we good on that? It'll be okay. Let's see if we want to do this. Okay. I'm not hating it. And then, let's see. So what I want to do is, I want your eye to go to my grandfather. He's in this long photo. And um, to do that, to just move things around a little bit and I really am someone who likes to um, pin things down so that I'm not continuing to do what I'm doing right now which is keep moving things around um, I'm really I want the the title to be um, the Fenderson agency or just yeah or Fenderson yeah, I want it to be the Fenderson Agency, 1960s. This is taking an awful lot of space up on my page. So is this. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure that my dilemma is that um, I 
want to do some journaling on this too. So I'm not sure if the page layout that I'm making is making any sense. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Okay. This one says, seems like only yesterday. But that doesn't really fit me. Um, it might seem like only yesterday to somebody else, but this is cat. So I don't think anything in here is actually going to work um, for this page right now. Okay. <laughs> I know. Okay, then I have these brightly colored letters, which might work because um, I could I love these letters because these look so retro they've got all that retro stuff going on um, I don't like them because I think they're going to take up a lot of space although I think these letters are going to take up just as much space so let's just check it out with the ruler deal so this is just a clear ruler that I got from Office Depot. And I realize I'm 30 minutes in and haven't really done much. <laughs> yeah. It happens. Okay. So I'm going to start to spell with my initial. And sometimes it's just go good to go with your initial, you know, like Stevie Nicks sings. Your first initial feeling. Doesn't you have a song like that? I can't sing. Um, I like to sing, but I can't sing. All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to snuggle. We want to snuggle the, the picture or the title into the picture. So I like to have the title near the picture because I've learned that that looks good. Um, but I don't want to stick anything down yet because... I'm afraid if I stick it kind of over the photo, because I printed it on cardstock, it's going to be hard to reposition the letters. So some letters are easier to reposition than others. Um, like thickers are pretty easy because they're always falling off the page anyways, right? <laughs> but um, these are kind of older letters and they're, I'm having trouble getting them off the sticker sheet. Just see. So I'm lining them up on this clear ruler, and that way I'm going to be able to move it around and kind of see where I would like it to be on the page. Yeah. So yeah, I, I joined a couple of Facebook groups. One is called, um, You Know You're From Callis, If, something like that. And then the other one is called Washington County. And so those are two different Facebook groups that, um, and I also have a Facebook group that I created that's about Fenderson family history. But these two groups that I found recently are like the town where my grandparents lived and where my family had actually lived for generations. Um, it's called Callis, Maine, and it's on the border of Canada. And anyways, there's this Facebook group and there's so many pictures of like the old pictures and it didn't, um, and so, and then I connected like with my dad's cut, like with all these people that I sort of knew, but I didn't really know. Um, and it's really, really exciting. And so I've been sucked into this, you know, Facebook excitement period. And I am forcing myself to get off the Facebook and actually create something. But even though I'm struggling a little bit through this page, um, I'm not struggling that bad, but it's going a little slower than I would like. Okay, so what I want to, what I'm trying to do is make sure that you can see this. And I d I'm not sure <laughs> that that's... Oh, stop me.
Yeah, that wouldn't that wouldn't work. Um, I want to have it enough contrast that you can really see the word, and I'm not sure that I'm accomplishing that. But I almost feel like I'm so far into it that I need to keep going. <laughs> but I'm um, not in love with all of my choices here. It's okay. Almost done. So, anyways, if you um, if you are interested in family history, I did another video that talked about um, researching this particular my grandfather, um, and like, oh wow, I can really find stories about him that I didn't know, and he's pretty highly documented. I mean, I've got a lot of um, his records, and he did family history research, but I found on the internet stuff that I don't have um, in the family, like, in the records that he kept, and also, like, stories that I've never heard, like, interesting stories. So, I would say if you haven't really checked out your ancestors on just by doing a Google search, try that. And also try Facebook, like for the places that your ancestors lived. Because you might find something that's like a history page, like a, you know, a history page for the place where your people lived. And then you might find all sorts of interesting things. Like I found this, I wasn't expecting to find this. And I was really thrilled that I found it. Um, I'm not sure I want that last one to be gray, but I'll do it anyways. Okay, so there I've spelled the name. That was long. <laughs> and let's just see if the, how that's going to look. I almost think it should go underneath. But then if it goes underneath, I feel like it needs, um... <laughs> I feel like it needs something else to stand out against the background because the background's pretty busy. Let me just look. Remember I had all these different um, things called. So I think this is going to be way too busy if I do it like that. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, maybe just like a light gray piece of paper or so look at this. Will that work? Kind of, except these two don't really work. But I think you can sort of see that better. I almost think what I want to do is uh, maybe get rid of this red thing. all right. You know why it's all right? <laughs> I've been spending enough time. Too much time. Okay, let's just put that right down on the page. And I know I pulled all that stuff out. And it's okay if I don't use it all. See that? I don't. I feel like you can't really see that. It's not very high contrast on the screen when I look up at you, but it is. It looks okay when I'm just looking at it. I could just kind of do a bunch of different photo, like a bunch of different. Um, To different strips there. Okay, I'm starting to like this better. If I use this strip kind of underneath so it ties in with that Fenderson up there, 
but I'm just going to need a very small part of that. And I love this paper, as does my scrapbooking friend Celeste Smith. So I'm going to um, kind of cut this so it's going to be about the same size as that word Fenderson. And I think that's going to make it show up just a little bit better. So that's kind of going to be my... I'm not leaving myself a, a lot of space to journal. I realize that. Um, so that's going to go just like this. Kind of like, yeah. Okay, I th feel like when I use the red, that the um, the Fenderson doesn't really show up well enough. How about if I just make it a little more simple like that? I think that's the ticket. <laughs> Sometimes we can just try too hard, right? Okay, let's just nail this nail this puppy down and. Uh, and tell the story and stop worrying about all the embellishments which is something that I think as scrapbookers we can really fall into uh, I know I can because it's so much fun to like look at all the products but what is really um, important it's fun the products are fun too and they're important too but what's really fun is telling the fantastic stories and today I do have a fantastic story. Like, this was exciting. And so, and the other little trick that I learned is that if you have letters that you don't necessarily, like there's a letter in this um, paper here, but I don't really need you to read that. So I'm just gonna turn it upside down. And then I'm just gonna kinda line that up. Tuck it under. Tuck it under. I think I can. Okay, and then, okay, so this is becoming a very basic page, <laughs> whoops, it's okay. Um, so now I'm going to just, with my Sharpie, I am going to um, write some of the things that I learned about on Facebook, and so, um, what is today? It's May... May 27th, 2014. So excited to find this photo on Facebook. In a group called You Know Your This is my grandfather, Frank Howard Henderson. Um, so he's right there in the middle, right there in the middle. His office. It was called the Fenderson Agency. And this is where I'm going to pick up my iPhone and remember the other details. So uh, let's see. Go to my Facebook group and. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Now I've just got to find that picture. <laughs> And it shouldn't be too hard because I've been talking about it. Uh, here it is. And there are six comments. And somebody says, oh, somebody's got the other name, so I'm going to put that in. Um, but this was the Fenderson Agency staff, 1960s. The 1960s. Before... Born. 
Okay, so excited to find this photo on Facebook in a group called You Know You're From Calisset. This is my grandfather, Frank Howard Fenderson, right there in the middle at his office, the Fenderson Agency, in the 1960s before I was born. Um, on Main Street. Callis. The other folks are... Let's see. Joe Haiti. Joe Bothwick. Paul. Oh, Phil. Whoops. Nixon. Frank Henderson, because I just listing out the order. Well, um, not sure the next woman. Um, I'll just write, not sure next woman. <laughs> and then Jeanette Beacon. According to my newly found cousin of my dad, Marcia. Who I've just now I want to leave a little space at the bottom. Friended on Facebook. Wonder what Grampy would have. Okay, so there is my journaling. That's the story. Um, I sort of wish that I typed it, but it's okay that I didn't. Um, because it's an office page, it kind of feels like maybe I should have typed it. Um, but I now I need to, or I don't need to, but I want to kind of um, just do a little to jazz up my page. And I don't really want to, even though this is... I sort of want to cover the photo, but I don't want to cover the photo. <laughs> Let me just see if I can do this. I hope that doesn't make it look too much like a barbershop. I don't think I want to do that. Um, yeah, so I showed you all those fancy embellishments, and I don't really think I want to use any of them. Let's just look real quick again. I liked that. I don't want to use it. <laughs> I I did a video like a little while back of um that was kind of cute. Real life right now. Like even though it's not right now. I don't I'm not sure I want to use it. Let's see. But I did this video of um it was It was um, about Project Life, and that's a scrapbooking system. And, oh, I could do agency, maybe. Because I really, I can. Let's see. I can um, use a little bit of this blank space here. But what I want to do, again, is make sure that... I'm getting it down so it's gonna fit. Let's just see. Anyways, I made this um, video about Project Life and then I really didn't do much. <laughs> I had a comment and the person was like, you didn't really do much there. <laughs> I'm like, I know, <laughs> it's true. But sometimes I think that even if it doesn't look like you did a lot, um, the process that you go through agency. 
um, is just very fun and it's worth sharing and it's also I think it's worth sharing if you're um, stuck create you know if you're stuck making a page and you feel like oh I don't know what to do I don't know what to do and then you just stop I want to show you if you just keep going um, you'll get there <laughs> How the letter stickers are kind of coming out there. Uh, I'm not in love with it. It's not the worst thing in the world either, the agency. It's just that I'd like to that C to not be a warm color. I'd like that C to be a cooler color, but I have the other C is just so different as far as value. It's very dark. Let's just see how that looks. It doesn't look like it blends in with the rest of the word, which is bugging me. Um, let's see. See what I mean? You can't, your eye goes to the C. So I don't think I want to use that. Blah. I hate to put these back. Oh, I think I, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I think I talk a lot, or not enough. Or, I, yeah, I feel like I'm not getting enough done for the video. Part of why I like to make the videos is it does give me, um, it gives me the boundary of time. And so I feel like I gotta get this done because I don't want you to be, you know, I don't want the um, video to go on forever. And so, I find I do take longer in my new scrap space sitting down, and it does take me longer to make a page on film than it does not on film, but, yeah, in my old space I could whip out a page in 30 minutes, and I don't really, I'm not really able to do that anymore, so that's kind of frustrating me, and I kind of think I want to, um change it up in here so I can get back to my speedy self because it's, it is kind of bugging me that, um, oh, you know what, I could, I could use one of these letters, maybe. Agency. All right, let's make sure I'm spelling agency right. Agency. I think I might use those, these Amy Tan letters that you can see. They're like transparent. So I can use that kind of nothing space in the photo. Now again, remember if I put these down, this is going to be permanent because I'm it's cardstock and it's just it's very. But I think that'll look all right. I like that agency. So I'm just trying to get them down as straight as I can. And then I'm going to use the back of this sheet to um, be like a holding place for a lot of that stuff that I gathered on the internet today. So I can just write down on this page how I felt about finding the page, finding that photo, but then I can put more information that's just printed out from the internet on the um, on the flip side and so if you're just flipping through my album you don't have to read all that stuff but if you want to it's back there and I guess one of the reasons I really love to do scrapbooking is that I can tell stories and make it pretty or kind of pretty <laughs> um, and it's more I think engaging and interesting than just um, this, which is like uh, what my grandfather and father left behind. It would just be like files and files of paper, 
and it's like, oh, that looks kind of boring to go through. Um, but if you see, I just imagine <laughs> that if I saw all this, I'd be like, oh, I want to read all about that. Um, so here's all the, the information that I want to put right behind this page. Um, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that if I don't run out of run out of juice here on my um, iPad. I use an iPad to film these videos and it's pretty good. I don't think it's like the best quality video in the whole world but it works good and I can look up and see how it looks. So I have it on a video like a tripod attachment and then the other thing I like about it is I can just upload it directly to YouTube and I don't do any editing and so it's very easy for me to just whip off a video and otherwise I don't know if I would get any of them done. Okay, so there's Fenderson Agency and I also now could sort of feel like wouldn't it look better if these were outlined with a sharpie but you know the problem with that is if you make a mistake then you have to cringe. <laughs> So what I think I want to do instead of the Sharpie is just use um, a pencil because I would like these letters to be standing out a little bit more but I don't want to um, get, yeah like I just made a mistake with that but with the pencil I can correct it easily, pretty easily. So I'm just going to shadow these letters. So I'm imagining if a light was coming this way, I'm just going to um, shadow under and on the right. So I'm not tracing the whole letter. Let's get all the bottoms here. And this way, if I make a mistake, I can just erase it. I think they probably used pencils back in the 1960s. <laughs> Bet you they did. In the photo, there's pictures of like tanker desks, which is actually this desk that I'm on right now. It looks exactly like these desks, which I didn't write about in the um, in my journaling there. But these are the same kind of desks. This desk that I'm on was made in 1938, and so. They were used in World War II, and they were, like, really indestructible. And so something about, you know, people from Maine and something about the Fendersons. And uh, we're, you know, Scottish, of Scottish descent, is that we're frugal. <laughs> you know, I always say about how I like to get my scrapbooking supplies on discount and everything else. It's because it's just built in. <laughs> but um, I'm sure that... Probably my grandfather got a good deal on those desks. I bet you he did. <laughs> and they were probably still popular then, but they weren't new. They were probably, I bet these desks were like 30 years old in these pictures, even though they look new. They're, um, they're from the 30s and 40s, not from the 60s. At least I don't think so. Maybe they were still making them then. Have to look that up. I'm not sure. So you see, I'm just doing the right and the underneath of these letters, so they hopefully will just stand out a little bit better, but not yes. I think that they do stand out a little bit better. I think the contrast is still not super duper, but you can just a little bit there and it didn't take me that long to do it. All right, so do we want to put anything else on this page? I'm going to put this on here. Hello. Um, maybe. And I have some of these already cut out that are maybe, maybe I don't want to use that one. But I do like that.
I also like this little sentiment of captured, but it's kind of like pointy in a weird way. I'm not sure I want to use that. Um, And this is just like a little bin that I keep on my desk of stuff that I had out that I didn't really use, um, but maybe I'll use sometime. Okay, these are the ones that I was looking for. So this was from like a solid, you know, a sheet of pattern paper. And I like the idea of just having a little phone up there like a half circle, but maybe. Okay, I lost it for a second there. I've been rambling, and that tells me I should just finish. And so let's just go with, I had that up there, I kinda liked that. And my advice is if you kinda like it, go with it. And also, don't do the mistake that I do, and I do it any, you know, even though, whoops, I realize I make this mistake is I um, will put too many choices in front of myself. And you can really go much quicker if you have less choices in front of you. Really. It really works like that. Um, so we always think we need everything. <laughs> As scrapbookers, we want to have all the stuff. But uh, you don't really need it. You really don't. It's fun. But you don't need it. And it actually can end up slowing you down. Which I think I did to myself today. But I am still happy that I got off the computer. And I spent some time actually creating a page. And... Even though it's on the computer, I just have, um, I know a lot of people say, well, if it's on the internet, it's on there forever. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we'll see, won't we? Or maybe we won't see, but um, I'm not so sure because, whoops, um, I'm, I don't know. I used to be, have, be on this site called My Family, and it went away, and all of the information on there, it was kind of like Facebook before Facebook existed. Um, but, uh, and it was a lot of fun, but all the information on there is gone, maybe gone. So, I don't know if it's all there forever. And maybe I could access that somehow, and if I paid, or blah, 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 but it's not, um, readily available, and, um, it's not. <laughs> it's really not. Okay, so I really had this inkling like I wanted to put some stripes in here. I don't think those are the right color stripes. But I do like the idea of just drawing your eye a little bit into this area here. And somebody told me recently that red does the trick of bringing your eye to a place. So I've sort of got across foundation there on the page. Not exactly. Um, what else do I want to do here? I must want to write the 1960s because um, they did write that. So let me, But I don't want it to be prominent. So let me just see if I can do it with this. Yeah, it might. It might work. We'll go with that red theory. I guess it was a photography tip that if you ever see anything red, um, take a picture of it. But it is an attention drawing color. So there we go. I like that. And
I'm part of my um, my scrap my I have this project called the Century Project, which or the Century Scrapbook Project, which this will probably not go into, but in on every page I have the date. Let's see if we can put any more hoo-ha on this page. Okay. <laughs> um, I know I pulled a lot. Let's see. I really like the way this stuff looks. Um, but I don't think I have any space for it. Just kind of going back through what I pulled out, and I don't see anything there. Um, I kind of like this idea of I put the sticker that says today right here, and then I wrote my name, and so this is today, May 27th, so this picture is not from May 27th, 2014, it's from the 60s, but I found it now, and I'm reacting to it now, and so that's why that sticker kind of helps tell the story of, this isn't um, a story from today, this is my experience of this photo today, and the photo is from the 1960s. I think that's fairly clear. And so I'm just going over a few of the words. I like to do that in my journaling just to um, highlight, it's almost like bolding certain things. And I think it's visually interesting, but it also draws your eye to the important parts. So if you don't, if you're like me, sometimes when you read, you don't read every single sentence. You, you know, skip around a little. Um, so that says, just in time. I don't know, I just think that's sort of cute. And I know that arrow is pointing off the page. I don't care. Um, and it's not like just in time. I don't know. I like the detail. So I'm adding it in. It doesn't have to, Oh, here was that one other one I wanted to do. So this was that hashtag right now. Let's see if we can fit that in. Maybe here, so we've got one, two, three, and then like, he's kind of in the middle of the three things. So I want to put that underneath, I think. So now I'm covering up my journaling. I should have thought that out better. I don't really want to put it over the photo See if I can get it in from the side and like have it sort of going off the page a little like the other ones did. Uh, I want I want to see that hashtag in there. I think you will. All right, it's not perfect, but it's it's gonna be fine. So I got a tiny bit of embellishment on my scrapbook page, which scrapbookers want to see <laughs> the embellishment. So I've got that green um, in three places in the shape of circles. So I like the way that looks. It does cover up my journaling just a little bit. And I think now, I think I am finished, but let's just see if there's anything else I can add. I don't think so. And then the other thing to think about is um, to add something of a different, like something dimensional or something shiny or something just a little bit different. And okay, I found, I have a 
It's like kind of a box of embellishments, or it's like a muffin tin. Um, and I have this little charm that is a camera, and it's old, so that's cool. Um, I kind of think I could put it. Where could I put it? I sort of wish it didn't have that, um, that little, it's got like a hook to make it, you know, so you could put it on a, a chain or something, and I'm not sure I want that. Uh, but I did like the idea of that. So I like the idea of a camera, and now I found a different kind of icon of a camera. And this is made out of wood veneer. And I like the idea of that too because it is about this photo that I never saw before. And this one looks a little aged. And I think it's going to go right there. And then we're going to call it done. Okay, so I like to adhere wood veneer. <laughs> I like to adhere wood veneer. Um, I have some sticky dots that I think I will use. They're not the little ones that I usually use. These, okay, these ones are called glue dots with thousands of uses. That's exciting. So we didn't have any air conditioning at my office today. And I think I got all dehydrated because it was hot. <laughs> and my mouth is going dry. I probably need to take a drink of water, but I think I will finish this out and then say goodbye. Um, so I'm almost done, but I have been having a lot of fun over this past Memorial Day weekend, um, going, you know, traveling down memory lane to where I grew up uh, in Calais, Maine, and it's just been fun, to, and it's been fun to like. I love that I've never seen this photo before, and I also like got you know reconnected or connected with some folks that um, I haven't really known. <laughs> so that's all exciting. Uh, I didn't include any of the typewriter. Um, icons on my page, but it's all right get some old retro phones. I got the camera and this will be up on my blog. My blog is called Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking and I thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, just leave it a question in the comment. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to be going down the family history road. <laughs> so I do that from time to time. I think it's coming around again. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.